Hey everybody, so welcome to your daily reading for the collective, so general reading for uh, Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. Now today I'm going to tap in a little bit on, uh, tap into the energy of our counterpart. So whether that's a male energy or a female energy, uh, whatever applies, applies to you. I'm tapping into our counterpart, to someone maybe that we haven't met yet here in the 3D, but in the 5D, somehow we are connected spiritually and we are waiting. And this is the best time to see where the energies are at uh, while we wait in divine timing. Um, just based on the conversations that I've been having with a lot of females, just because that's my experience, I'm... I'm communicating with a lot of females these days. Uh, I mean, males, you guys can reach out too. We always want to know what your experience is with um, dealing with this, um, attracting the counterpart. You know, we're all dealing with this at this point, if you're watching me on my channel. So based on the comments that I've been getting, a lot of women have been going through a hard time attracting someone who makes sense someone normal, someone who has the balls, the courage, the bravery to step up and take a chance and communicate. And, and you know, and just to use that divine masculine side of theirs, whether they are a woman or a man. So the divine masculine, we all have a divine masculine, we all have a divine feminine. Now, it all depends on your chart, on the sign, you know, your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising. It depends on how much fire, how much water, how much air, how much earth you have. But if I give you my example, so I'm always talking based on my experience on this channel. If you're supporting me, you know that this is what I do. I'm here to help you guys out through my experiences, through my interactions. So what I was saying is that uh, we all have a divine feminine and masculine. Now, personally, being an Aries, I really, really channel the divine masculine a little bit more than the feminine. So this is what I've been trying to work on recently is how to find a way to channel the softness side of me, the, the, so the, the side that's more gentle and um, more on the receiving and passive end than the go get her and take action and make a move and start a conversation this is really hard this has been extremely hard especially now if you're a fire sign in your moon rising or venus um i mean mercury is in leo and freaking mars is in leo it's that's pure fire guys and the way we communicate the way we we go about our daily lives the way we we make moves, the way we make decisions. This is all fire. Mars is the planet of action, the planet of energy, of how we move. And then Mercury is the planet of communication. And they're both in the fire sign, Leo. So if you're a fire sign, you have a lot of fire in your chart, this is not going to help but with channeling your feminine because the masculine is so triggered right now. Um... So this is why I think at this point, if you're trying to attract someone into your life and you are accessing your divine masculine at, a, at its high, like the way I am right now, I don't think this is the best time to um, maybe approach someone or, or start something new with someone because we need to get our divine masculine and feminine balanced. Or in a sense, we need to know when to tame the masculine and when to come and call in the feminine, the divine feminine. And this I'm still having a hard time with. And it's through meditation and it's through breathing exercises and it's through reading and researching on and even watching other YouTubers out there who actually talk about this on how to uh, apply that into your daily life, how to be more feminine. And it, it, we're not talking about feminine outwardly, guys, because obviously I look feminine outwardly, but the way I go about things is very masculine. So that can turn off a lot of men. A lot of men who are less triggered by that masculine, the ones who have more of a feminine 
uh, energy to them are going to be intimidated by you, are going to be threatened by you. Are, are, they're not going to be able to understand how to approach you because already they're coming in. Oh God, the, the King of Cups was there and I lost it, but I want to show. Oh, here he is. He was there when I was shuffling. You know, he's already coming in very soft and deep inside he's already feeling very feminine in the sense okay he's feeling more passive because this is not someone who's making any moves this is someone who has a lot of feelings inside but who is not expressing their feelings but they have a lot of feelings so if you're a water sign obviously the divine feminine this is a, a, a divine feminine energy where you're more like analyzing you're feeling a lot you're tuning in to your sensitive you're sensitive so you, for sure by us coming forward in a masculine way can trigger them can make them feel like oh i'm not used to this type of energy so let's take a look at their energy guys so i'm really feeling the divine masculine divine you know whoever you're trying to attract in your life for me it's the divine masculine obviously the counterpart uh, but remember, they can have more divine feminine within them. So let's see. Let's see where they're at. Yeah, well, you see, they have passion for us. You, you see, they do have a lot of passion within them. They want to express it, but they don't know how to channel it. This is what I'm feeling from the divine masculine. So if you're dealing with someone, yeah, they have a lot of passion. And maybe the only way to express them, their feelings is through sex. And this is why a lot of people say that men are thirsty. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, they're trying to find a way to escape from their feelings. Okay. This is, you know, they're, they're holding their feelings inside. This is, this is an energy of someone who's trying to escape, who's trying to, you know, gain peace of mind. But when I'm tapping into the, the, my counterpart or your counterpart, their energy is someone who's like, okay, let me just escape from this, this, this passion, this new beginning, this passion that I'm feeling with that Ace of Wands. So this is someone who's not channeling their passion, guys. So this is what we're dealing with. So let's continue. Let's see what else we got for the counterparts. What else can you tell us about their energy and what's blocking them? Yeah, they're focused on their coins unfortunately they are focused on their coins they are just investing in their careers in their jobs in their money uh, this is not someone right now based on the combination of these three cards who who is ready for a relationship i don't see any cups i don't see any water i see someone who's escaping their thoughts yeah, because they've been abandoned before, okay? So that's why they're at a point where they are a little bit wounded, okay? The wounded warrior. warrior, And they feel like it's difficult to show their emotions and to approach us. This is what I'm feeling. What else do you have for the divine counterpart? Yeah, they have a hard time uh, getting over things with that world in reverse, they have a hard time wrap because like this, we're wrapping things up, right? We're wrapping things up. We are completing a cycle. We are ready to move on from our past. This is the last card of our journey in the major arcana. So we went through the journey starting with the fool card and then we've ended it with the world. But like this, someone's avoiding, someone's avoiding an ending. Someone's avoiding basically stepping into this new world, this new life, this new cycle. Yeah, they're stuck on it. I mean, they're trying to still learn because the Page of Pentacles is at as it's is in its beginning stages of learning, of building. So they are not willing to put in the work because they're still they're still focusing. Like the Page of Pentacles is so focused on that pentacle because they have not wrapped things up from their past. But I feel like at one point, guys, in the next six months. From now until the end of 2019, you know, they're going to be called to make a judgment call, you know, with, with the angel here that's blowing its horn. This is someone that needs to make a decision at one point and rise up and figure out what is best for them with a judgment card. 
What else do you have for my counterpart energy? What else do you want us to know about their energy? Yeah. They are slow as fuck. Okay, it's gonna take a long time here with that Knight of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. But again, I'm not really focusing on the science today. I'm focusing on the energy of our counterpart that we have not yet met. Okay? They are just slow people. It's, it's just not a good time to start something with this energy. Or maybe it is an earth sign that's slowly coming towards you. You know, we see that king of pentacles. But again, it's an energy. It can be someone, who, of course, the famous king of cups. Someone who has all these feelings. You know, when you meet them, you'll see that they're going to embody this, this energy of someone who has so many feelings and really is in tune with their feelings, but doesn't show it. Who's really actually pretty stoic. Okay, and, and really in control of their emotions when they're like this then that's when we have a problem when they're not in control of their emotions they're moody they're jealous um they're just not tapping into their feelings at all their feelings are closed off but this is someone who feels so much you know there's water all over this card however doesn't know how to express their feelings so with these types of cards guys you see that's it they're waiting they're waiting they're they're not making any sudden moves they're like well i did all you know i've been through all of this now i gotta figure out what's my next move you know they built so many things in their lives but they haven't been able to access their emotions yeah because maybe it had to do with something in the past that hurt them okay the six of cups is past soulmate connections memories from the past family issues from the past you know the good times in the past this is what it's embodying so this is something that can influence i think where they're at in their journey yeah again they want to build a legacy with that ten of pentacles they want to have a solid uh, place to fall you know with that ten of pentacles this is a solid foundations when it comes to money when it comes to family so this is someone who obviously wants that but can't access their emotions because they're still stuck in the past what else do you have for us what other messages do you want us to know yeah look this is where they're at people they are in a place of a lot of worry, self-imposed fears, anxiety. You know, this is all entrapment of the mind. Their mind is too focused on things that happened in the past. Okay, and at this point, they're just escaping through work, right? With their job. But they're still stuck. You know, this, this someone who's still stuck on the past, who's not able, someone who's not able to wrap up a cycle, and it's taking them a lot of time. Why? Because they just they are deciding to stay in a self-imposed prison when it comes to their thoughts. So this is not someone who's communicating with us. But again, the judgment card's telling me here that there will be a moment of revelation of truth, of decisions, you know, judgment. When it comes to feeling like this. What else do you have of this person that we are about to come into union with? Yeah, they're going through endings. They're, they've been betrayed. They're going through some major endings. And maybe it's been a long journey for them. You know, this is someone who's reached a point where it was a lot. With that 10, meaning there was from 1 to 9, a lot of shit happened. So a 10, it means they've been through some difficult, difficult situations. Again, all relating to the past, and that's why they're still stuck in their head and not able to approach. But look at that. They are a, they have that secret admirer energy, guys. So if you were to meet them very cordially and and you know, you exchange probably your, your, your numbers, your, your, your social media. This person is someone who would definitely be, you know, be a secret admirer, but not completely open to reaching out. 
in the beginning stages. Yeah, so they're definitely escaping and walking away from something here with that Eight of Cups. Emo things that were emotionally unfulfilling. But I think there's they're going through a transition right now because we have two cards where there's some type of escapism here. Trying to find peace of mind. Trying to let go of the past, but it's difficult. But the Wheel of Fortune is saying that it has to move forward. You know, and they don't have a choice at this point. So whoever you are, you will encounter or meet, they are still going through the final stages of getting over their past issues. Yeah, look at them. I can't believe these motherfuckers. I swear, every time I pull out cards for, for men, it's this, this is their energy, people. Like, how are we supposed to get into union with you if you're like this at night? Okay, so this is someone who's depressed and who can't sleep and who's who's all up in their head and worried. Oh my God, oh my God, it's not going to work out. You know, I'm so stuck, 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 stuck energy, guys. So this is where we're at with the males. If, 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 if males are your thing, I mean, and females, if you're watching, if you're one of my male subscribers, uh, I mean, this is the energy, you know, it doesn't have to be a male, but for me, this is what's up. Okay, or and for y'all who are waiting for your male counterpart, I mean, this, for us, this is what's going on, and people are indecisive and just stuck and not willing to make any moves, unfortunately, and make any moves about coming into union. Yeah, this is where they're at, people. So if you haven't met someone yet, I mean, this is why. This is basically why. But this is you, honey. We're sitting pretty and we are focusing on our life, living our best life here and just staying positive and um, focusing on growth because we got to continue our growth process at this point. OK, we don't have to accept crumbs. We don't have to entertain people that are vibing very low okay so it's about discernment right now because like i said these, this is a general reading for the general collective of our counterpart whether that's male or female so oh my god so this is where we're at you got to use your discernment when you're meeting people because even if the people who do approach you they're not in a good mental state they're literally like this okay even if they do approach you they're vibing low right now. This is not vibrating high, vibrating high. So, I don't like when this card pops up. But hey, I mean, if they need to come back from the past, someone from the past has to come back and speak their truth, then go for it if that's what's going to balance the scales out, right? Because we're all about karma here. We're all about paying our karmic debts. And if that's what it's going to take for you to balance your karmic debt and mine, then super but maybe yeah so pay attention maybe someone from your past will be returning or like i said the energy of this of our counterpart here is dealing with people that are coming back from their past i mean mercury is in retrograde and this is what we're dealing with people and issues and situations that maybe were triggered last summer are coming back to reconcile but I feel like here, the spiritual fact, the religious factor is telling me we got to be careful. We need to be on the same vibrational frequency. So if someone comes through from your past or a past life or whatever comes through, okay, make sure that you guys are on the same vibrational frequency. What does that mean? Make sure you're in the same headspace. OK, if you're focusing on growing and on being better on, and on opening up and accessing your divine feminine and on trying to find a middle ground when we communicate and this motherfucker or this bitch is coming in like, you know, bringing in their bullshit, projecting all this shit onto you. That's not vibrating, vibrating high, guys. OK. So if someone here is coming in insecure and trying to put you down, this, this is an issue. Okay, spiritually you're not on the same frequency. Okay, so we got to be careful. It's going to be different for everybody. Now, a lot of these people, yeah, I mean, maybe you disconnected from them. So the retreat card here is telling me someone's escaping. You know, someone maybe has escaped from their past and is trying to get away from their past. 
this is the equivalent of this card okay so someone's trying to gain peace of mind someone who will be coming back who's been disconnected from you in the last few months but I feel like this person that's coming probably towards us who hasn't really approached us who's not an ex let's just say an ex lover someone who we, we already encountered in, in the 3d I think this person we need to give them uh, a chance so keep an open mind so the person that might come through for you in the next six months uh, might be different from your usual expectations okay so this is what it's saying your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations keep an open mind I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but maybe they're not exactly the way you thought they'd be in your head. Okay. Your divine counterpart. Let's get another few cards and we're going to wrap this up as I have to go get ready. I have J Lo's concert. Let go of control issues. So here we're dealing with energies that are still trying to control. So this person still has control issues at this point in time. So it's, it's, it's hard for them to keep an open mind okay so I'm gonna give you an example in my life I have a friend who uh, is you know trying to trying to chit chat and mingle with other people and uh, met a fellow who would be who she thought would be uh, a good match for me you know she's she's trying to find someone for me I'm trying to find someone for her we're like keeping our eyes open we're asking questions and this is the thing so although this person this this male that she encountered for you know in the with the intention of uh setting us up that was her the intention um was it was such a weird uh experience for her because she says as soon as i started asking him questions or proposing places that we can go he was like completely closed off to everything he's like oh why would we go to that club i'm like so over that club i'm not gonna go there it's like motherfucker do you want to meet someone or not you know what i mean this is someone who still like has some issues here so when i'm here when i'm listening to this i'm like they take everything so personally and it's like we don't have to go there if you don't want but why are you shutting that idea down it's just the idea of meeting someone and that's the energy that he's putting out there you know, this guy has uh, his career together, his finances together, but emotionally, he's not there yet. You know, he's at, an, he's at a point where he still can't let go of his past shit because he's still hurt. And whatever comes to him, he's completely like cutting it and, and detaching himself from it with that type of, uh, with that type of mentality. You know, it's just the way people express themselves that really show you where they're at in their emotional intelligence and how open they are to meeting someone. I mean, we're not fucking getting married. We're just going out and having a good fucking time, but apparently that's too hard. So if that's too fucking hard, then bye bye I'm not, you know, we don't, we're not gonna entertain people who don't want to be open to love, who don't wanna be open to just getting to know someone. Jesus, like what does it take to get to know someone? So if you completely shut that down because of your control issues and because of your issues from the past, then motherfucker, you're not for me. So you know what I mean? You have to be very clear and sure about who you are before you attract someone into your life. So, I mean, if I had low... I had very uh, low self-esteem and insecurity issues. I would have been like, okay, but it's all good. Like, we could go wherever you want. Like, I wasn't there, but I mean, I could have told my friend, well, you know, let's let's do what he wants to do. And, oh, that's too bad. And, you know, like, I'm not going to entertain people who are not interested in me. I'm not chasing you if you're not going to make a move, if you're not going to show some level of respect of, in, of, of confidence, of openness, okay? So, too bad, so sad. That's all I have to say about that. But just to give you an example that people are so like fucking close-minded and like, just get over your damn selves already, literally. 
And this is what's going on. This is what the divine masculine and divine feminine, if you're dealing with women, this is what they're going through. These are people that are still vibing high and still and still so insecure about meeting someone and so insecure about where they're going to go with you and so insecure about how they're going to interact with you. It's like, no motherfucker, like just, we're moving on. So people, let us not lose hope. We are standing pretty like this. Whether you're a male or female, you can be the emperor, you can be the empress. And we're not giving up on the fight to find our counterpart. But at the same time right now, we're focusing on us. We're focusing on being better people, a better version of ourselves. Because there's always room for growth. Always. So guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, thank you so much for the ones who've been uh, subscribing and commenting and liking and sharing and following me on Instagram and Facebook. All my information is in the description box. So, and if you want a personal reading, you can also reach out by email. My email is in the description box as well. So remember guys, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Energy is constantly changing. The stars up above are constantly changing. The planets are shifting. It's like, it's very unpredictable times right now. So don't worry. Things will get more stable if you find a way to get more grounded and stable within yourself. Because in the next six months, things are going to get a little bit rocky, a little bit shaky, and there's gonna it's going to cause a lot of discomfort and insecurity if you're not secure within yourself. So on that note, please have a great uh, Wednesday uh, evening, night, wherever you are in the world.